Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 22. Indeed, we are here on the Calm Lands map. Oh, I see. Well, that's kind of cool. So you can actually close this, eh? I guess if it's a crappy day or a cold day. Very cool. Anyways, we are, uh, I have plowtated our giganormous field here, as you can see. And now I'm going to get into the process of kind of cutting it up into wee bits. Although it says, I suppose we could lime it as a whole piece, huh? It seems to be what it needs is lime. This, as you can see, is now cannoli. It needs rolling, but we will get to that. And this is now barley. Indeed, it also needs rolling, of course. But we will get to that. And we need to fill our greenhouses with water. Got some uh, product here. This allows us to buy lime on the property. Because we go through lime so quickly. Greenhouses are doing nothing yet, but... Da, 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 the bees are being busy. Busy little bees. I do hope everybody's doing absolutely splendiferous today. It is the beginning of the week. I hope that went well for all of you. As it's uh, fairly early Monday morning for me, it will be a different day for you. <laughs> yes, the magic of YouTube. But uh, actually, it's just because I won't be posting this till tomorrow. So, uh, we can buy gas now. And apparently we get a free coffee. But seeing as it's here on the farm, I guess we only get a free coffee if I make it for myself. Um, you guys are all doing well? Yep, you're fine. Not making any eggs, but then you're a little, well, little <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so this came with just a pallet fork. Alright, good to know. Good to know. You, uh, have a job to do some lining. So, where have we put that? Well, I think it's still down there, actually. Knowing that I would use it again. Oh, I forgot to grab it. I'm going to switch out our uh, stone crusher for the one that crushes them and turns them into lime. And toward that end, I've actually been dumping our rocks here. So that's the pile of stones we've gotten so far. It's about almost, I believe it's about two full carts worth. So not bad. There's the spreader of lime. Beautiful. Was right beside the other, other tractor. <laughs> Fancy that. Hopefully it's still... Uh... Ooh, I have filled it. Goodly for me. So we'll lime this, and then we're going to, like I say, start cutting it into chunks. Now, I don't know how big this is going to be. I just know it's big. But then again, so is the field. Now, this tractor doesn't have uh, the whole widgy bow thing going on there, so... We're going to do this. I know this one's coming up way shy. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, hey? Eh? Ooh, gave that a good spraying. No, it's not going to go onto the other field, is it? No, good. We did come up a little light of that, at least. Good stuff. <clears throat> so 
also, if you uh, haven't yet done so, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And, uh, of course, if you like the content, don't be afraid to hit that like button. It's not that hard to do. Again, only if you like the content. And although they have disabled the universe at large from looking at dislikes, um, if you have issues with the video, they will still show up for me. So, yeah. Don't hesitate. Okay, now we're just off the mark here. Come on, get in there. There we go. Yeah, you can see we burn through the line pretty good, so I thought it worth buying a pallet. And I guess they auto-fill it every time we take some so that we don't end up without. Well, <laughs> uh, I didn't really want to spend 15,000 bucks to put GPS into this tractor. Which you probably should have done. This is a big field. We're down to 5%. So we're certainly not going to have enough. But, good thing that we upgraded to the big guy. Because that little one, we would have... There we are, we're out. Would have had to refill even more. So, there's nothing in this field. Doesn't matter if we drive all over it. Well, we might compact the soil a little bit. That's got to do it. Okay, zip through here. I mean, none of our fields are particularly small as far as that goes, but... Ah, oh, it opens that way, that's right. I don't know if they'll let us fill it from that side. I don't think so. Oh, actually they will. Goody. It does cost money. It does indeed cost money. So. But, like I said, that's the privilege of them coming and refilling it, I guess. What it, uh... I'm not sure if there's a premium. There probably is. You know. But. That'll probably do it for now. Let's cover it up. Let me get back to the job. That's a really bumpy little road there. Huh. That's a bumpy spot too, isn't it? Quite a few of them. Alrighty, here we go. Now, other than the grass that I'm going to sow, um, ooh, sure lets us know where we were, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, other than grass, the rest of this, whatever I divide it into, is going to remain fallow for the winter. Because, again, I want something for spring. Right? I don't want our fields to be tied up until darn near the end of summer so that we're forced to plant, you know, just that again. I don't know if these need limed, but what the heck, right? That's where we're going to put our poplars. 
Since that is the one thing we certainly have not caught up on yet. We were, uh, geez, probably only a couple of months away from doing our first poplar harvest. So. I shouldn't have been so stingy filling the lime. Apparently. What a dopey... Yeah. Now I gotta drive all the way back there again. Ah, oh, man. We're doing well today, guys. Doing well today. So there are links in the description below to uh, Old Man 102's channel, City Farmer's channel, a few different ones. Plus, of course, there are links to uh, my Patreon's uh, channels. As well as a list of the fine folks who do... Uh, Support me in that fashion, and a link to the Patreon if you would like to uh, join that elite and illustrious group. What do you get for it? Really nothing. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm the only one that really gets anything for it. But it really helps out the channel, and it certainly helps me out personally. You know. But beyond that, I just appreciate the fact that you're uh, sitting there watching. He's a good thing. Yeah, I'm, whatever, just gonna fill this thing. We're not gonna use it all, but we might as well. If I'd have done this last time, we wouldn't be sitting here now, would we? No. Then we'll get to dividing the field. So everything to the left of where my other tractor is, is going to be meadow. We are going to keep a supply of good, fertilized, herbicided, all that happy, happy, joy, joy style grass to continue our silage production. As I said, once we empty that one pit, I'm just going to get rid of it, and we will do all of our silage in bale form. All right, let's get back there. Weird, the patterns and stuff. All of that, what looks like the field is out, it's not. That's where the cedar, you know, you get to the end of it and you lift the cedar and turn around, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's the getting to the end of it part. <laughs> yeah. All right, and the square in the middle is the one we were driving on. So let's do this. Yeah, it does chew through lime in a heck of a hurry. Mm. Now we got a couple of little missed patches. It's probably going to be the difference of, you know, six blades of grass or something so we're not going to worry about it a whole lot all right let's get this last section done and then we can get on with the rest of it but yeah everywhere like the part i'm on now this is all going to be grass right up to well about a third of this entire area i'm going with a big meadow we will have a little bit of surplus grass around the edges and stuff but not all that much not all that much indeed. Yeah, it took a lot of lime to do this field. <laughs> Okay. 
There we go. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Everything is limed. Alright, let's go take this guy home. Ooh, that's something I don't have yet. I need something to wash my machines. Because they ain't getting any fancier by the moment here. Let's see, yeah, we'll have to get ourselves a, a washer. in here, isn't it? Uh, tools. There we are. One Karsher power washer. Oops. Can't get the angle down here. And... Boop. Excellent. Uh oh. Better save up ten grand. We're gonna need to paint that weight. I mean, I could understand taking your tractor in to get it painted when it gets a little bit on the shabby side. But really? Tell me you wouldn't just buy a can of trim clad black and go, there we go. Weight looks like new. Because I know that's what I'd bloody do. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Nice. Alrighty. That will do it for him. So, unfold yourself. You are set to grass. Yes, you are. Drop. And go. stop there dude <laughs> there we are so that's meadow now which way do we want to divide this let's just have a little looky here probably this way oops how many is that I meant to count these okay One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, so thirteen would be half. Okay. 
and that'll be a field. See, look at that, eh? Even after plowing, these orange flowers stayed. Weird. There's a couple of them. But yeah, they're just going to be right in the middle of the field. I don't know what'll happen once I seed, but if plowing didn't take them out, I don't think there's much chance that seeding will, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Alright. Now what I'm going to do... Beep, beep. Yeah. Let's raise it up. And we're going to cut her as sharp as we can. There we go. Come on, straighten out. That's it. There we are. Now lock it in. And down you go. That'll be our second field. So that'll give us four big fields, one small field, and a meadow. I think that's pretty reasonable. See again? That's where I picked the cedar up. It just leaves this weird... Right? When you get close to it so the grass can cover it. Yeah. Mind you, I don't have my uh, field set very far, let me tell you. Okay. So that is that. Now what we gotta do is get the rest of the grass put in. Because luckily, we can do grass. But I believe wheat, barley, and canola are the only crops we can actually put in. So. I mean, I guess grass is a crop. Just because we don't eat it. You know, the sheep do, the cows do. <laughs> they don't have an issue with grass as a crop, let me tell you. considering this is sort of our first full day. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. I have been running at 1x, though. But once this grass is in, I think we're pretty much done as far as the day goes. Now, if we're getting the greenhouses up and running, and we do have a way to do that. I have a water tank, but I basically tow it behind a pickup truck. So we'll get into that. Probably next episode is when we're going to need that particular bit of kit. Alright. I had a few weird issues with the AI when I was doing the stone picking from the field here. I got about 40% of it plowed and then I went and grabbed the other tractor and hired somebody to start picking stones on the part that was done Well, they did the first part fine um, The other fields we've made the stones from them were still in the machine because we hadn't filled it But it was at like 70 something So it ran out or it filled up I should say pretty quick um So I went and emptied it, but when I came back and set the guy back in his spot and went go, he was like halfway up a row as they usually are when they fill things or run out of things. He went, so I went back to my plowing. And then uh, a little while later I looked over thinking, well he's probably not full, but how's he getting on? 
and I noticed him running along the edge of the field over there by the cow shed. Thought, what the heck? So I jumped back in there, and yeah, he'd gone back over every row he'd already done. Hadn't progressed at all. Had basically wasted 15, 20 minutes going over areas that are already done. Yeah. So I grabbed him and set him back up again. And then watched him and he started doing it normally. So, I don't know. The AI... Oh, is... There we go. Not quite where they should be yet. <laughs> well, I guess we're all prone to mistakes now and then. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize. So this should be a decent sized meadow. But, I mean, it's got to feed, uh, you know, a flock of cows and, you know, a, uh, a murder of sheep. So, I wouldn't want to come up short. <laughs> Noise is coming out of that tractor. Eh? Sounds like she's barely got a cylinder left to run on. I guess it could use a little bit of maintenance. And pretty soon fuel as well. But we should be able to get through at least this grass bit. I guess we do need to roll it even though it's grass. I think all of these need rolled. Well, I've got the roller sitting right there. I suppose I could get the hired worker on the uh, other fields. That's not a bad idea. How about we do that? I'm pretty sure that other tractor will handle our roller. I hope so. Would suck if it doesn't. Alright, let's go check it out. This is the truck. That's the tanker. Um, close enough. How are you doing for fuel? You're pretty good. Your maintenance isn't that far off the mark. Let's go. Yeah, it's great to log into the map and not have things stutter and sputter for the first 20 minutes. Right from the time I come in, it's pretty... I mean, we do get little laggy bits like that. I don't know what causes them, but... Yeah. It's not every time I turn sideways the game goes into slideshow mode or anything like that. Alright, let's grab this. Hello, the cows. Aren't you fine-looking kitties? I tell ya. Well, the expression is, you can't hurt cats. I figure that's as close as we'll ever get. So maybe if I convince them that they're cats, they'll uh, be able to change that piece of common myth. Alright, let's unfold this. Have a look at what we're dealing with here. Alright, I'm going to start at the other end. That way I don't have to worry about his last row going, Oh look, I think I'll knock the beehives over. Uh, oops. That's okay, he didn't get my name. I'm just from the farm labor pool. Yeah. We all know what a bunch of weirdos you get from that place. I know, because I used to be one. Alright. 
Okay, dude. Um, do the thing. There you go. Yeah, I know. There's an object in my way. Okay, this does not need rolling. This needs rolling. We're on the money. Do a freaking good job. Seriously. Don't you mess this up. Alright, so far so good. We'll see how he does. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's put your tail down. Let's go. Feed me, Seedmore. I did do a double stripe in the middle, didn't I? I meant to do a double stripe in the middle. I hope I did. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I see we are pretty much at the end of the episode. I did. I did do a double strip. Okie dokie. Nicely done, lad. Uh, tail up. There you go. So I guess what I will do, guys, is uh, I'm going to end the episode here. We've obviously got a bunch of busy days ahead of us. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Till next time, though, this has been Species 7. Do take care of each other. Make sure you hit that like button. Have a great day. Ciao for now.